Hi everyone. Hello there and happy Wednesday night. Uh, welcome to Dixie Bell's page. We are on Facebook and Instagram. Um, yes, yes, it's the first time Facebook is like loaded on quickly. Yay, yay, yay. So please say hello when you come on. Let us know that you're watching. Uh, my name is Tracy and I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint Company. And we meet right here on Wednesday nights uh, at seven o'clock central time every single Wednesday night, even when I am on vacation. I'm on vacation. Um, I did not ask for tonight off, which they would easily give or one of the other brand ambassadors would have filled in for me. But I thought it would be kind of fun to go live from the beach. Hi, Wanda. Hi there. Thank you. We got my first comment over there. Thank you so much for saying hello. Um, Instagram does not appear to be on any Instagram. Anyone there? Please speak now. Hi, Laura. Matt is here. I'm actually filming myself tonight, so I can I can actually see comments, but he's sitting right over there. So I kind of hoped, I hoped we could uh, go live with the beach in the background, but where we're staying, there's construction going on and, uh, and dunes, sand dunes and a porta potty. That's all you can see. I'm not, I don't think, did you check on Instagram, see if we, if, no Instagram. Okay, hang on, Brittany. Let me see. I got to reach way over. Hold on. Real tight. Let's see. Let's try this again on Instagram. There. Instagram likes to give me issues sometimes. Let's see. Uh, live and go. Let's see. We'll see if they pop on now. Thank you for that. Who was that who told me that? Um, Oh, thank you, Julie. Thank you. Yay. Okay. We actually are live on Dixie Bell now on Instagram. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome Dixie Bell fans. Uh, my name is Tracy of Tracy's Fancy and we are live coming to you live while I'm on vacation this week. Hi, Mary. I like being able to see and see who's on. Yay. I love this. So Matt is sitting on the side. He's got his tablet and he is going to let me know if anyone asks any questions that I miss. Bring it to me, baby, and I'll, and I'll do it for you. <laughs> Bring it to me. Let's see. Um, let's see. We'll go to home. You just gotta scroll down, down, down. No. He's right. Like, where are we? Just do the do the refresh button. Did you do that? So, if you haven't guessed, this is what we're doing tonight. Hey, hello, Charlie from Long Island. Hi there. Um, here we go. I think this might do it. Are you into videos or something? There we go. There we go. Awesome. I did it. Thank you, baby. Okay, so I brought a mailbox with me, y'all, and, um, and I have some products. I brought my heat gun. We're using a beach mat. I am, Robin, I am, I'm on vacation, but I, I didn't want to get out of tonight. I really didn't. I, I really, actually, once I decided I was going to do a mailbox, um, because I was thinking, what kind of small piece of furniture should, could I take? And then I was like, I'm going to do a mailbox. We mentioned it. We mentioned it. Um, hit refresh again, maybe it should refresh up there. The circle at the top. Give me your thing. <laughs> oh my Lord. This little circle baby right there, oh. that, there you go, refresh it, and then you should, I don't know, whatever, I don't know, just keep working on it. Maybe the girls can help you. Uh, so then when I started trying to wrap my head around what I was gonna do on the mailbox, um, oh my gosh, now I wanna do mailboxes. So I've gone from bubble gum machines with Dixie Bell paint to tea sets, hi Annette, with Dixie Bell paint, and now I wanna paint mailboxes. So. Everybody send me all your mailboxes. Um, a lot of the new houses don't even have mailboxes, right? So this is a mailbox. I bought it at, um, actually I got this one at Ace Hardware. Um, so just with any of the other metal type products, I always use Slick Stick first. We're not gonna do that boring part. It's very boring. Slick Stick is amazing. It allows me to paint lots of fun things. But um, uh, Samsung dust and maybe a spritz of water and wipe again. I don't know what you're talking about, Samsung dust. I don't know what you're saying. Um, maybe sand, maybe sand and dust. Yeah, I, 
So I did go take a picture of it outside and it did get a lot of sand on it. I did have to dust it off. So I bought it at the hardware store. I think it was $17. I used my slick stick. I did one coat of slick stick on it and I let it dry overnight. It's very important to do two, two coats of slick stick, you guys. I read a lot of comments in a lot of the groups that Facebook, I mean, that uh, Dixie Bell has, and I see people complaining, my slick stick didn't work, and look, it peeled up with my tape, or it peeled up. Well, if you really start asking questions, you realize that they might not have followed the direction. So it's one coat of slick stick, let it dry overnight, you know, until the next day, good 12 hours, and then follow it up with a second coat of slick stick, and um, let that dry for, you know, a good several hours. And once it's dry, then you can go ahead and start with your first coat of paint. So this has, two coats of slick stick, and it also has one coat of fluff. Now, I'm very limited on my paints tonight, y'all, because, Brittany, I know I, I knew that was an autocorrect thing. I wasn't sure what you said. I'm limited on my paints. I did not bring that many paints. Um, did I miss the part that you said where you are? Who, I can't see your name. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of far away from my cameras, but I am in, what do they call this, babe? It's not Port A. We usually go to Port Aransas. Um, which is outside of Corpus Christi. I think they call this area North Padre. So um, we are in North Padre on the beach in some condos that we've never stayed in because we made our reservations at the last second. Hey, Miss Donna Trobo, I'm so glad to see you on. Um, so that is where I am. Darn, I wish I could see whose name that is that asked me that. Thank you for asking where I am. And that really was my photo. I did take the photo of the mailbox in the sand um, just right when we got here. Okay, so one coat of fluff. That's all that's on here, a coat of fluff. I heat, I force dried it with my heat gun, and then I did some stripes on one side only because we're gonna do the others. So I wanted to stripe the lower part of it. Now I brought about eight transfers with me because I'm gonna use transfers on this because I figured that, I mean, I can hand paint stuff on here or brush paint, but a lot of you can't and that is the beauty of transfers. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't planning to push transfers, but I do love them because a lot of people want to do really cool artistic things and it just makes it quick and easy and, and unique. So I brought, I think I have seven here, but I think I've decided that I'm gonna go with the cacti and succulents transfers um, because I'm limited on my colors. I didn't bring very many colors. I really thought I would go with the tropical, uh, the tropical leaves because I'm at the beach and I thought that would be appropriate. Um, but the colors that I brought don't really go with the um, tropical leaves transfer very much. Sorry guys, y'all are gonna hear two teenage girls in the background. Can you man that? Uh, <laughs> we told them we were live, but you know, they're on vacation, so. Hey guys, if y'all think that anyone would like to see this, would you please, Facebook, would y'all hit that share button because I can see our numbers are like me and I want more people to see us do this. We're gonna get busy now. The other one that I did think about doing was the Latin floral transfer and I'm gonna open this because I want, this is why I wanna paint all the mailboxes now because once I started pulling transfers out, I was like, oh my gosh, I could do sunflowers and checks, black and white checks and sunflowers. How cute is that, right? Because we have sunflowers. I could do an Alice in Wonderland one. Who doesn't, someone might want an Alice in Wonderland um, mailbox. I could do boho with the feathers and the, the dream catchers. And I even brought, um, I even brought silk screen stencils too. And we've got the boho silk screen stencils as well. This would be amazing. So even though this is a curved surface and a lot of people have trouble doing transfers on a curved surface, um, that's more if they're rounded, like if they're small at the top and then they, you know, what, what could I give you an example of? Like a teapot, you know, or a glass. If they're small at the top and they go out and then they go back in, that is a little more difficult. But this is even, it's even, it's a perfect arch. How cool would this be to do a transfer over this, like this, but with the design the correct way, or however you wanted to do it. And I was like, what, that would be so cool. I love that. So that's another idea. Um, and how about the poppies? Maybe somebody likes poppies. And you could do, yes, yes, whoever, I can't see who asked that question, but we are gonna talk about how you would protect this, absolutely, would be Gator Hide, and we'll talk about that because you have to take a little extra step with transfers um, before you put Gator Hide on. So we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Um, my hand's itching, do y'all see me? What does that mean? What does it mean when your palm, the palm of your hand is just that you're about to come into a lot of money? Um, I think it means that we're gonna come into a lot of money. 
so maybe that's why we don't have as very many people on because Matt can't even, he can see my live on Facebook, but it's completely frozen. Close out of Facebook all the way, babe. Sign back into Facebook and, and go there again. Um, I was complete. Money? Yes, I'm gonna come into money. I will, I'm gonna come, go home and open my mailbox and I'm gonna have a lot of money, right? Okay, so you see what I've done down here. Let's do it on the other side. And now I've already kind of wrapped my head around what I'm gonna do with the cacti and succulents. So this is what we're gonna do here. Um, we are gonna strike this side as well. So Instagram's got a great view. Um, let's see here, I said Padre. Um, I didn't say North Padre. Shane, you guessed it, you guessed it right. You sure did. I wish I could see the comments a little bit better. And Matt's working on, he's working on making it happen. Okay, what do y'all know that we need to do when we are gonna lay tape down on a painted surface? What do we need to do? What do we do first? Um, left is, oh, left hand means money, right hand means meet someone new. Oh, well, it's my right hand. So that maybe I'm gonna meet someone new. I'm gonna meet someone new, honey. Like a girlfriend. I'm gonna meet a new girlfriend or a new neighbor. That's what it means. Okay, we detack our tape. We detack it. So you can put it on your clothes. You can put it on like this tablecloth. Actually, it's a beach mat. You wanna detack it. Just take a little bit of the extra tack off of the tape. Now I'm gonna lay this down in a straight line right across the top, uh, deciding how high I want my stripes. Mm, I really guess I should decide how many they were, one, two, three, about three tape, three from the bottom. So one, just guesstimating, two, three. You'll know I am not like super picky. All right, that's me, babe. You can turn me down. He found me. What do we always tell people when, when I freeze on Facebook? Go out and come back in. And I wasn't even thinking to tell him that. Go out and come back in. It really does work. All right, so this is how tall my stripes will be, just like that. That's how tall they're gonna be. And now I'm gonna do the vertical stripes. So every single piece of tape I just put on my shirt or my pants, whatever. I'm gonna do the middle first. I'm just gonna lay this right down the middle. And of course you wanna be right in front of it and make sure that it looks straight. Um, it's real easy to get kind of wonky with your stripes. Uh, Someone on Instagram is telling me um, that money is coming. I hope it's money. I don't, I don't, I'd be okay if I didn't meet anyone new, but if I got a lot of money, that would be great. Are you watching? <laughs> so what I did right here, if you're new to painting, this is called your spacer. This is your spacer. So I know that I want my stripes to only be this wide. Now I could have double wide stripes, right? I could have double wide. Um, have my mailbox at my double Y with double wide stripes, but I'm gonna do single. So I'm just using one single piece for my spacer, a detach each piece, and then I lift my spacer up and I take it right over here on the other side. So we will lay all of these stripes down and then we usually detach again. I'm detaching my tape. We usually, um, hi Catherine, I can see you guys, but I cannot see the Instagram names. They're too dark, too, too dark. Uh, keep moving my spacer over. Um, we usually will go back in what we call burnish, our, burnish the sides of our tape. We're not gonna do that tonight because we're in a little bit of a hurry and I just, I'm gonna show you guys another way to do it, kind of a dry brush method where you don't really have to worry about bleed through going underneath your tape. Now this mailbox is kind of corrugated, I guess is the right word that you would call that, corrugated. Um, it's got, lines through it. So I was worried that I was going to have a uh, paint kind of bleed through under those lines. But the other side, it, it came out okay. It came out just fine. But how fun is this, right? This is a really fun project. It's something you can do just like I am here. What I, colors? Sorry. Oh, go ahead. What it, colors did you bring? Um, I brought fluff and caviar, obviously, because I know I'm always going to do stripes or checks. Um, I brought tea rose and the golf because I was going to the beach, and plum crazy, and blueberry, and what is that one? Palmetto, I think palmetto. I just grabbed some of my colors that I really like. I didn't want to go like super wild and crazy, so I didn't, I didn't bring, you know, peony, I didn't bring flamingo. Those are some of my favorites. I was kind of, 
I don't know. I just was, wasn't thinking very clearly. I was trying to get away. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get away on vacation. All right. So I'm just keep moving my spacer all the way down. And because I've detached each piece, I don't worry about pulling my tape at. I have forced this project really quickly. My paint's only been on for maybe, I don't know, when did I paint the last coat of paint, babe? Maybe an hour ago? Yeah. Christine says plum crazy with the succulents would be fab. Plum, plum crazy with the what? Succulents? Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm, we're gonna use, we're gonna do some plum crazy. Now, our, uh, we're gonna do some fun painting here in just a minute. It's not gonna be all stripes. We are gonna do like, I don't know what you call it. Um, when I just kind of pounce the paint on and blend the colors that way, kind of like a pouncing blend, that's what we're gonna do here in just a minute. All right, so all of our, our stripes are down. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Now we're gonna paint. So I am limited on uh, tools and supplies here. I did not even bring a large brush. I didn't bring, normally when I do pouncing and stuff like that, what on earth are they doing up there? Uh, normally I have like my French tip brushes or my La Petite brush. I also usually use paper plates, but I've got a napkin here, a paper towel. So I'm just folding my paper towel and I'm opening up my caviar. This is my caviar paint. And I am going to use this fluffier brush, which I didn't really want it wet. So I'm gonna use this. I want, I want, would you go up there please? Uh, I'm gonna make this, as, this brush as dry as I possibly can because I want this to be dry paint because of the way this is corrugated underneath here. I don't want any liquid or water running up underneath that little corrugated uh, etch. I don't know if you guys, I don't think you can see it. So I'm gonna fold this over like I had the other, I'm setting it right here. And I'm just gonna dip my, I'm just using a one inch craft brush. That's all I'm using. Um, one inch craft brush, I'm just gonna barely dip it in, not much at all, and put it on this paper towel and just rub it out, just like this. I'm just rubbing it out. Why, why were they doing that? Because they have both patios. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right, so here we go. We are, um, if I just start, it's very dry. So if I just start painting like this, it's so dry that it's just gonna drag. It's not gonna, it's not gonna cover much. Okay, this will show you how corrugated this is. Let me show you. See the corrugation there? Is that the word, is that the right word? Um, that, I have to get paint in all those areas. So the best thing to do is just pounce this like this. Pounce right up next to your tape. That way you're not brushing paint up underneath your edge. You're just pouncing straight down on it. And that also gets you in all, and then I take my brush and I just kind of swipe it like that. So that's how I did every single stripe like that on the other side and get all my paint off. And then I'll just pounce, keeps that paint from running up underneath that corrugated edge. Carol says, this is ironic. The country mower obliterated our mailbox yesterday. We replaced it with a plain gray one. <sighs> our pretty mailbox is no longer. How funny, Carol. I'm so sad that your, that your mower was obliterated, but um, I gotta get up here where I can see. Sorry guys, I, I think my head's gonna be out of view, but I can't see very good up there. All right, just pouncing this out. And then I go ahead and I remove my tape. All right, so you can see my stripe, it's nice and clean, just like that. I go ahead and take my tape off pretty quickly. There's a really bad glare here, so I can't really see unless I'm up above this. We'll just do a few more stripes here. Just taking, going at it with a dry brush. I don't have my normal brushes that I use, but this will work. And then I just move it in between. Now, the reason I take my paint off, I mean my tape off while my paint is still wet, I want it off of there quickly. I want, I don't want, uh, that paint to have any more time to run up underneath that tape. It's doing its job, holding it off. I want to get it off of there. So it also, you know, people worry <clears throat> about letting their paint, people sometimes let their paint dry and they have a really thick skin built up on there and then they pull their tape off and then they wonder why their paint kills with it. Um, that's why, you need to go and get your tape. You don't have to let your, you don't have to let your paint dry. 
it's done its job, just get it off of there. Okay, so we're gonna do one more of these and then we're gonna go ahead and flip it over to the other side and start laying down some of the colors that I brought. And then we'll heat dry those. And then we'll go ahead and put on um, some transfers. Do they still say what? YOLO. Yellow? I don't think they do. I've never heard say I don't think I've ever heard Zadie say YOLO. Janice says hi, I'm watching from Oklahoma. Connie Bowser. Hi Janice. Hello. Hello from Kentucky. Amber, me too here in Oklahoma. Hi everybody. Alright, so there we go. There are a few perfect stripes. And I would just keep going. And if you keep going, you end up with perfect stripes. That simple. I did this right here in probably five minutes. Easy, 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 easy peasy. All right, so now let's move on to the paint. Now my, my paint over here is a little bit wet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this down anyway. I'm just gonna sacrifice it for you guys. No, I'm kidding. Uh, okay. All right, so now this is dry and I want to keep this line clean. This line that I have along the top here, I'm gonna keep that clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay another piece of tape over that because we're gonna start laying down some of the pretty colors that I brought and I don't wanna get paint colors. I'm gonna tape this over the black. Y'all see that? I'm taping on top of the black because I wanna paint right up to the top of the black and white stripes, right up to the top of from Portugal. From Portugal. Who is it? Anna? Yeah, Anna Vargas. Anna. Hi, Anna from Portugal. Thank you all for joining us. Did you tonight. put slick stick first since it's metal? Yes, I did two coats of slick stick. Two coats of slick stick first. One coat, I let it dry overnight. I did another coat this morning, and then we brought the mailbox here with the two coats, and then I painted a coat of uh, chalk paint and fluff on it. Also, my link is at the top of the page. If any of you want to order yourself some slick stick or if you want to order one of the transfers or any of the colors that we're about to break out, uh, you can order them and have them delivered to your door. Dixie Bell has flat rate shipping. If you order uh, $50, if you order $50 in product, your shipping is only $10. Just pretty good because the paint is very heavy. These are 16 ounce paints that I brought here tonight. They come in eight, 16 and 32 ounces. And we are about to, I think we're gonna open up the golf blueberry. Um, I want my outer, outer colors to be more pink. So I think we're gonna do some Plum Crazy and Tea Rose. Oh, babe, will you come help me get these jars open? Can you open out for me? I'm gonna open a little Tea Rose. Oh yeah, both of those, <laughs> both of those. And I also want the golf and I want palmetto. Yes. And then I also want some blueberry. Blueberry. A lot of blueberry. Did we use blueberry last week, y'all? What did we paint last week live, babe? I don't know. Do y'all remember what we painted last week live? Um, I don't remember. I don't file, remember. File cabinet. File cabinet. Yeah, we didn't use blueberry. Oh, the file cabinet. Who remembers the file, file cabinet we painted last week, y'all? We started the Minnie Mouse file cabinet. It's finished, it's amazing, and I'll be posting it on my page. Oh, Emily, they won't. Where are you, hun? Where are you located? Uh, yeah, the Minnie Mickey file cabinet looks so good, and I cannot wait for y'all to see it. Um, I know, baby, shh. Good words, good words for my video. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out. I don't need my caviar anymore. So I'm gonna put my caviar aside and I'm gonna rinse out this brush. And I'm not gonna worry so much about mixing colors because we're just gonna start pouncing them all together. Keep in mind, be kind, that I don't have my normal brushes, okay? I don't have my normal brushes that I would use, but I do have a bunch of, uh, a bunch of one inch brushes because I thought I was gonna be doing a lot of detail paint and then I got this great idea to, uh, start throwing down um, pounce blending <laughs> with tiny brushes. Yeah, baby? She's on from South Africa. Emily's in from Alaska. Alaska. Alaska and South Africa. Oh my goodness, you guys are, y'all are all over the place. Uh, oh yes, I forgot to you, say that. Huh? Would you typically let the black paint dry longer before taking over it? 
No, not the chalk paint. If, if once it's dry, it's dry. I'm, I tape right over it. I tape, I detack it first. Detack it, then lay your paint down. Hmm? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. So I'm envisioning painting deeper colors around the outside and then lighter colors as they come up over the top of the piece. All right, that's what I'm envisioning. Now I have a squirt bottle here, I have my Mr. Bottle. Now I forgot to also mention with my link, if you follow that link over, you can order from that link, but you can also follow that link over and at the top there is a find a retailer section and you can um, look, put in your zip code and find a retailer in your local area as well. Forgot to mention that. Um, all right, so let's start with, I'm gonna get my everything kind of close to me. I'm gonna start with Plum Crazy and T-Rose. Um, I'm gonna do those more on the outside. So I'm just gonna start with those two colors first. And let me see, let's do a little Plum Crazy. I'm gonna keep a paper towel near me here so I can just start taking some of that off. All right, I'm gonna try to do this, y'all. This is a strange setup here. Um, and I'm gonna do some of the outside like this. I'm just kind of start pouncing that like this. I wanna, I'm gonna make it deeper and uh, rich around these outer edges, just like this. And then while that is still wet, I'm just gonna pick up my brush and I'm gonna bring over some T-Rose. Can y'all see me doing this okay on Instagram? Yeah, baby? What am I gonna paint? Right now I'm doing just a background. I'm just doing a background. A backdrop for, uh, and this works a lot better if I had brushes that were a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm doing a backdrop for the succulents. See how I'm just patting it on like this? that see that Instagram right better much better set up at home but I'm gonna do the other side now keeping it I'm gonna keep it rich and deep along the outer edges who says that oh uh, Lynn that's Lynn Paul Lynn hi Lynn hi honey good morning and then I'm putting my tea rose in the middle of that. And you know how when you blend, you you know wipe back and forth and you blend your colors out? Well, see what I'm doing here? You just start blending the colors together, just like that. You just start blending out where that edge is, where they met, and you just transfer back and forth between your two brushes. And if it starts to dry out, you just spritz it with a little bit of water. I haven't done that yet, because I'm still working the paint, not having any issues there. But I do wanna keep it pretty original around this outside edge like over here um i want it kind of splotchy i do i think it has more of a florally effect to it that way if i put a lot of water on it it's gonna uh, they're gonna start to really become one color and blend out together that way and i don't want to do that one here I, I really do want more of a more of a splotchy look my my other brushes would be great if i had them but i don't all right, so now I want to use my uh, Palmetto and the Gulf, and I'm gonna do the same thing, but I want my Palmetto and Gulf to be in the center here. So I'm gonna take uh, the Gulf, and I'm gonna run that right along the edge of that tape because that's my richer color of the blue-greens, right? I've got the Gulf and Palmetto. So I'm gonna run this right along the middle here, right along that edge that we had. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my brush just a little bit so that I can bring this up a little bit higher. And then where it met with the, the uh, Plum Crazy, I'm just gonna pick my Plum Crazy brush back up. This is so crazy doing this upside down. Plum Crazy is crazy doing this upside down. Kathy and then I'm gonna, says, sorry, she came ahead. in late, what did you base with? Uh, I used Fluff. Yeah, Wana York. Wana, hi sweet Wana. Yeah, this is Fluff. Okay, so that's rich there. Now I'm gonna pick up another brush. Do I have another one? I'm gonna pick up a, another one. I'm just gonna use my green one. And I'm gonna dip into the gulf. Get into the gulf a little bit here and just put that right here on top of my evergreen. Now I'm gonna stand up a little bit because that light's really causing me 
to not be able to see very well. I'm gonna spritz that a little bit. There we go. Taking it right over the top of the uh, palmetto. And then I'm gonna come back in with more palmetto. I guess I'll just use my same brush since I'm limited here. And I wanna get really, really true palmetto down around the bottom. Just like that. If I had a larger brush, guys, this would go so much better, but I don't. So picking back up, this is my Plum Crazy brush. And I'm gonna start bringing that out and over the top. This is very florally looking, right? Isn't it looking kind of like a garden? It wasn't my intention at all, but it's gonna serve as a backdrop. Um, it'll serve as a backdrop for the cactus. Now, honestly, I really probably need to get my fluff opened up and bring in some of my fluff. I'm gonna use this little squatty flat brush here and bring in some of my fluff just like this from above the top and that that way. Now, if I had my large brush, you guys, I would just be like patting all this out and blending it all together. I'm just kind of running some fluff in and out of here. So much of this is gonna be covered up, y'all, with uh, the, tr the transfers. We're just trying to get it all spread out. I wonder if this brush will do. It's a little bit wider. Oops, if I, you know, if I get quiet, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Now, what would be really fun too, if you wanted to go for a drippy look, would be to put your colors down like this and spritz them with water and then just hold your, hold your uh, mailbox up and let the water start to kind of run and give yourself a watercolor look, like a gardening watercolor. That would be a lot, that would be cool. I would. Yeah, I think that we can't believe you're on vacation doing a painting <laughs> It's probably crazy, but y'all, I do, I, I don't like missing my Wednesday nights. I really don't. I've worked hard for this Wednesday night spot, y'all, over a period of time. You know, I have over how many years we've we been doing this together, and my relationships here with each of y'all, it's very important, and I do take breaks. Y'all know that. I, I take breaks from Wednesday night lives, but this trip really wasn't for Matt and I so much as it was for the girls, so I didn't mind doing this. They're upstairs having a good time. They've been to the beach. Oh, I well, okay, we were throwing Father's Day in there in here with it too, but. Okay, so I'm gonna fix the top of this later when I've got a larger brush, but I think this is looking pretty, pretty dang cool so far. What do y'all think? Show me some love, let me know if you like this. Yay, it looks pretty, doesn't it? I love it so far. I just don't like the very top. See that? I don't like that. But I will continue that later. I love it, I think it's gorgeous. So let's go ahead and, I mean, it doesn't even, it's, it doesn't even need to transfer, but let's put, let's get it dry. Let's get it dry. And then we will, um, what are you going to do with this guy? Um, I could, I have blueberry. I could, I could do that, but it's really not supposed to look like a garden. It's just supposed to be a backdrop for, uh, it's supposed to just be a backdrop for our cactus and succulents. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, my Instagrammers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Facebook. Um, let's see what time it is. Just to let you guys know, I am not gonna go live on Tracy's Fancy. Um, I don't know, and like, we're supposed to go eat. Are we going to eat? This is <laughs> my heat gun. So I'm forced trying it. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my tape. Y'all wanna see? Pretty cool, pretty cool, right? Did not take any artistic ability at all, just a little bit of paint and some guts, huh? Uh, Home Depot, it's a Wagner, it's from Home Depot. I don't know, what. how much was this gun? Probably, I don't even know, I've had it a long time. Yay, you love it? So, and then we're gonna add to it. We, we are gonna add to it. Um, we're just gonna put on some succulents and see how that goes. We may use some smaller ones. I was thinking we'd go a lot bigger, but I really like it. So normally, 
Normally, if you're gonna lay down transfers, you need to make sure your paint is really dry. You don't wanna have any moisture under your paint at all. This is on metal. It did get really nice and hot, so it may have dried out pretty quick. But if you're doing this at home, do not start throwing down transfers right when you finish your little garden here. Uh, I would let it dry. You gotta let it dry. Um, but we're gonna move on. We're gonna put some transfers on. So let me open up the succulent one. And go, go ahead, baby. No, go ahead. I'm fine. Gertie says it's kind of cotton candy meat sunset. It should be pretty with the hot air balloon transfer. Oh, it would. Okay, so that's what I was thinking, guys. The hot air balloon transfers, uh, the steampunk transfers. Like every single transfer we have other than lace. Lace, I was like, mm, I didn't really think I wanted to do lace on a mailbox. But I was thinking like the poppies. Um, the poppy field wasn't my favorite, but I put it on the side. I was like, oh, do like a, you could do like the black and white. Instead, do like earthy colored stripes and then do the poppy field. And then just, it goes all the way up into the sky of the poppies. I was like, that looks awesome. Well, so. Jordan wants to know what colors those are. This is. Plum Crazy in this outer rich edge. There's tea rose up here. The darker color right down here is called Palmetto. It's like a deep, deep blue teal color. And then this is the Gulf right here. And then a uh, fluff, I put a little bit of fluff in there. And this is fluff and caviar. It looks so good, I love it so much. Here's that brush I lost, but I couldn't figure out where I put it. Okay, I'm gonna have trouble designing this, you guys, without coming around the side of it. So let me, move my chair around um i don't want to just i don't want to what if i would have just fallen right then like on my putt uh, i don't want to start putting transfers on without being able to see what it's going to look like upright like this okay um like that so the Succulents transfer, if you're a Dixie Bell follower, you already know that this is a very, very, very popular one. So I think let's start with, I think I'll start with the ones that already have leaves attached to them. Let's would do that. Use, would you use slick stick on a hard plastic mailbox? Yes, I would use slick stick on a hard plastic mailbox. I would. Plastic, I would use slick stick for sure. Um, so do you see that these succulents down here on the bottom, these cabbage roses or whatever these things are called, they don't have leaves attached to them, but there's leaves up here that you can build your own, right? But then there are some clusters and some bouquets that do have leaves attached to them already. So I think I'm gonna start with those, um, at least one of them. Then you also can jump into the more Southwestern boho uh, cactus, like the green, the green ones, and you can build your cactus garden like that, or you can mix them. This is actually this long design, which will actually look really good across a mailbox done in different colors, uh, is blending the greens and the mix of those, or you can go with a straight green like this. I did a, a jewelry box in this right here, and then there's some more right here. And then there's like some more like this. There's all kinds, y'all. Okay, look at this one. How cool would this one be? Just like that. I mean, you wouldn't have to do anything. You wouldn't have to do a background. So, uh, let me get my borrowed, oh shoot, I just dropped my transfer and paint. I'm working on limited space. Uh, Would you put slow stick on a metal box too? On a metal? Yes, that's what this is. This is a metal box. Um, okay, so for those of you wondering, you slick stick first, then you paint, uh, slick stick, follow the directions, two coats, then you paint, do your designs, whatever you wanna do, make sure everything's dry, and then you can start applying your transfers. And this is how you do it, you just cut them out, and then we're just gonna rub them in place, and then you're gonna do something called burnish your transfers, that's very important. I rub them, means rub them, rub them hard, um, and make sure they don't go anywhere. All right, so this is a transfer right here. I think I like this one and that. Okay, that's the lid. So maybe, maybe like that, kind of going over into the black a little bit. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna decide that I'm gonna bend that and cut that right there. 
to kind of follow that line. Do not ever throw your scraps away because you can use those on other pieces. All right, this is what the transfer looks like. You peel it off and you can see through it. So whatever your base coat is, is gonna show through and around the transfer itself, okay? So it was on a white, it was on a white base coat. So it looked white in the background. So right now it's gonna show what we've painted in the background. So notice that I gave y'all credit. I said we painted it, because we painted it. All right, so I'm gonna put this about right here because I do want it to go up to the mailbox, but then I also want it to go over the stripes a little bit, and then I'm just gonna press it. Now it's a little bit tacky, but not much. You just wanna press it into place, and then it comes with one of these sticks. This is just a wooden stick. You can use a stick. You can use your fingernails, um, whatever you want. You just wanna give this a good rub, put it in place, and what you're doing is making this release from this outer plastic and grab hold of the surface that you're putting it on. Now, if you have trouble getting your transfer to stick, your paint is probably still wet. Um, I'm hoping that's not gonna be an issue for us since we did just now finish painting. Um, but I really, really wanted to show you this. So, if you're planning to do this outside and you wanna, this is gonna be in the cooking hot sun, you can still do it. Um, Dixie Bell makes a top coat called Gator Hide that is uh, UV resistant, it's waterproof. It, uh, I'm gonna turn this around guys while I, while I get this to release. Uh, and you would wanna put Gator Hide on this. However, Gator Hide is not recommended to be used on top of transfer. So what are you gonna do? You wanna put a transfer on it but you don't want to put Gator Hide directly onto your transfer. I will tell you that I have used Gator Hide on transfers and it's been fine, but there's a lot of extenuating circumstances and heat is one of those. So I would not do it without top coating it first. So what I will do on this, on this box, okay, it's releasing, so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. Uh, what I would do is put a clear coat over the whole thing the top coat in uh, satin, top coat satin. I would top coat the whole thing, and then I would put gator hide on top of that. Um, but you have to let it dry. So top coat it in satin and let that dry like overnight, make sure everything's nice and dry, and then come back and put a final coat of gator hide on it. Debbie's asking are the holes under your transfer for air circulation? Holes under my transfer. I don't know, where are, do you know what holes she's talking about? Do you mean these holes? The holes down here? I'm not sure, tell us Debbie what you're talking about. What you mean? I just don't know what you mean. I don't have any holes on under my transfer, but there are some holes here on the mailbox. Yeah. All right, this is looking really, really, really good. Do y'all see what I do? I rub and lift at the same time, that's the trick. Rub against, pull against. Rub the stick towards the paper that you're pulling. That's, the, that's a huge key trick. Rub towards your pull. So it's like you're fighting. It's like you're rubbing and pulling, rubbing and pulling at the same time. That's, that's, it will work for you, promise, I promise. That's the, that's the trick. And there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I wanna do all of the mailboxes. Look at that, look. Look how pretty, look how pretty. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. It may be your iPad screen. Yeah, and there's holes down here, Debbie, um, but that's on the mailbox. But yeah, there's not any holes on the transfer itself. I love it, do y'all love it? I love it so much. So what I envisioned was doing a cluster here and kind of working some of the smaller ones across here and then back up here again and then flipping it over and doing the same thing. Doing the same thing on the other side. So I think I threw, I think I threw my cheese on the ground, let's see. 
over here. What time is it? Oh gosh, we're gonna have to go because Emily, Emily comes on after me. So I think probably on this side, I would do maybe this one that's more green. And then you can always, the sheet that has leaves y'all, like, where's uh, the sheet with leaves? This, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so this one that has leaves, if you want to add more fullness in here after you get your flowers all laid out and you wanna add more fullness, you just cut some of these leaves out and you just lay them like right where you want them. And you just start layering them on top of each other. Pretty cool, right? I am super, super happy with this. So I'm gonna leave this mess out while I'm here over the next couple days and um, just continue to work on this um, with my tiny brushes, with my tiny paint brushes. I know, Wanda, I love it so much. I, I, I really do, you know, like some of the artists did like a, a, a jewelry box with every single transfer. I really think I'm gonna do all of the transfers. I think that you could come up with completely different looking designs on on all of the mailboxes. It's just fun, just fun, super fun. So that's it, you guys. Um, if my family doesn't care, I think I will switch over to Tracy's Fancy for just a little bit, because um, I can keep working. Um, but otherwise, thank y'all so very much for being here tonight. Dixie Bell, thank you for having me. And um, I hope this was inspirational to all of you, and you guys will think about giving this a try, or something similar, something similar to it. Uh, I would love it if you would follow me on Tracy's Fancy on my Facebook, on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube as well. You can go to my website, which is tracysfancy.com. Um, and I have years and years of blogs on there with step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, my YouTube links are in those blogs as well. Um, don't forget, you can shop with my link above, or you can look for your local retailer in your area if you want to go in and like and touch and feel and try products out in person. So if you have any questions at all, just tag me at Tracy's Fancy in the comments and I'll see them and, um, or you can shoot me a message. Um, thank you for joining me at the beach and I will not see y'all again until next week, okay? <laughs> y'all have a wonderful night. We'll talk to you later.